All right, today we're using two single malt scotches. We got an Isla, we got a Space Side. We're all gonna, also gonna use our homemade banana liqueur, and we're using some yellow chartreuse. Lots of awesome ingredients. We are making the banana stand. This is a great cocktail. I, it's kind of like, um, I consider it kind of a fall cocktail. It's got cinnamon, it's got spices in there. Um, so to me, kind of and whiskey, it kind of feels like a fall cocktail. Delicious, whiskey forward, um, then strong banana flavor, a little bit of um, spice and herbal notes. But um, hey, summer or fall, it's a great cocktail. Yeah, yeah, you get some treats later. Okay, so there's a few recipes, uh, banana stand recipes floating around. I'm using the one from Difford's Guide and it called for these specific ingredients here. Um, so let's make it. So the recipe on Difford specifically calls for an ounce of single malt space side scotch. I'm using Glen Levitt Caribbean cask. It has nice kind of fruit notes from the rum casks. And um, I think it's gonna pair well with the banana flavor. But honestly, for this first scotch, use whatever scotch you have. The second scotch is half an ounce of an Isla single malt. And this one you wanna use Isla because we want that nice smoky peaty notes that only Isla can provide. So we're doing half an ounce. I'm using Ardbeg 5 for this one. Fantastic Isla. Next up, we got three quarter ounce of our homemade banana liqueur. Check out that link and check out the recipe. But you wanna use a quality banana liqueur here. Uh, don't use that kind of fake neon yellow stuff. Wow, that stuff's nasty. Quality like uh, Jaffard makes a really good one. A um, couple others. All right, quarter ounce of yellow chartreuse. Finally found a bottle. Um, it's such a small amount though. I mean, you could use Strega, you can even use Benedictine and you could get away with that in this recipe. Use an herbal liqueur, basically. All right, quarter ounce of yellow chartreuse. After that, we're gonna do three quarter ounce of lemon juice. All right, our last two ingredients will be a bar spoon each. I think the official recipe said a 16th of an ounce, but I don't know what the hell that is. First one is allspice dram. Click that link and go see our recipe. We also make homemade allspice dram. Careful, careful, careful. Oh, I over poured. All right, a little bit. That's about a bar spoon. Okay, and our last ingredients. Let's close up this bottle here. I love allspice dram. Our last uh, ingredient will be some cinnamon syrup, bar spoon as well. Okay, so there we have it. We have got our scotch, we've got our banana, we've got our spices and herbs. Let's fill our glass with some ice and then we're gonna give it a shake. All right, grab your tin, flippy move, slap it, and give it a good shake for 15, 20 seconds. Slap it to unseal. Look at that nice foam in there. Or bubbles, it's not really foam. All right, we're serving this in a rocks glass. Uh, nothing fancy here, we're just gonna do a straight dump, keep all that ice. But we are gonna top off with a little bit of crushed ice, just to make it prettier on the top. There we go. For garnish, we're gonna do a cinnamon stick. So that's what makes it kind of fall-esque. <laughs> and we're all gonna add a nice straw. And because it's called a banana stand, we're gonna add a nice slice of banana. And there it is, guys, the banana stand cocktail. Like I said, it, I think it's technically a summer drink, but I, I like it in the fall because it's got it's got whiskey, it's got uh, nice spices from the allspice and the cinnamon. That banana flavor is, works really well with those spices. It's just a great drink any time of year you have it. Um, so I hope you give it a try, and we'll see you next time. Cheers, guys.